Okay, for this activity, the Continental Drift Activity Package, you're going to get this piece of paper that has these questions on it and the questions on the back. What's going to happen is you cannot answer these questions until you fill out this map. So what's going to happen is you're going to be given this blank map with these Eurasia, Antarctica, Greenland, India, North America, South America, Africa, Australia, and a key. What you're going to do first is you're going to get six different colored pencils. Again, I don't care which colored pencils you use. You can use any color you want. What you're going to do is you're going to try and match these up. I get that these are kind of tricky, but what's going to happen is you're going to lightly color like the European flora with one color. And then what you're going to do is you're going to find all the um, European flora, which would be in Eurasia and Greenland and North America and lightly color those. And you're going to do this with six different colors matching up those keys. So it will look something like this on this sheet. So you're going to color those out. You're going to color these up and you are going to try and match those up. Don't confuse the Glossotaurus plant with the European flora. Do not confuse the Sinosaurus with the Lystrosaurus. They tend to get turned around a lot. So if you notice that this is this color. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take a pair of scissors and you're going to cut these out. Now I want to tell you that <clears throat> in another lesson I had you cut exactly this lesson, not so much. You are going to have to cut out the key. That is very important for this lesson to answer those questions. But when you cut out a continent, you do not need to cut out every bump. In fact, you can kind of just go around it. I would cut closest where there's color. Um, where there's not color, you don't need to cut as close. So notice here I've cut out Africa pretty quickly. Now, once when you've cut out the continents or the islands, um, what you're going to do is we're going to do this next step. So if you notice Australia and there's a thing called Zealandia, you can just cut around that line right there. So once when you've cut out all of the continents and the key, you're going to place them on your journal. And in your journal, what you're going to do is your goal is to, I do the key last and set it to the side. And again, I would always put the continents where they are now. So Eurasia is in the northeast corner of the map. North America is over here. Greenland is in between. Africa is next to Eurasia. Australia is over here. South America is over here. Antarctica is at the bottom. And India is actually right here. And what your job is, is to look and match up the color codes, the color codes, to see if you can make a Pangea. But here's the trick. Unlike some of the other Pangea puzzles, these are not going to match up exactly. That's why you need to follow your color key system. So if you notice, India has red, so does Africa. Australia has green, so does Africa, India, South America. But notice... There's red here, and Antarctica, and green here. Then you have these mountains that are located in these locations. So you're going to be tilting, moving, and sliding to match these up. Once you've matched them up, you're going to check with your teacher to see if your key is pretty correct. And when it's correct, you're then going to glue down your key somewhere on your paper so you have it. When you have that key done, you're going to go back, this page done, you're going to go back and answer these questions here and these questions on the back. 